This is a Channel 7 editorial with Vice President and General Manager Mike Murray. Over the past few years, downtown Detroit venues have been on a roll, generating positive headlines. But more national recognition has now spread to Midtown. Recently, the Detroit Institute of Arts joined the Detroit Riverwalk and Campus Marshes Park in winning one of USA Today's top spots for being the nation's best art museum. Now, the rest of America knows what we Michiganders have known for years. The DIA, with its prestigious and valuable collection of 65,000 works of art, is a gem. It is also one of the largest museums in the United States, where you can immerse yourself into more than 100 galleries, covering 685,000 square feet of space. A major expansion of 58,000 feet was added to its facility in 2007. In addition to artistic pieces from every corner of the world, the museum proudly boasts of having the Center for African American Art, one of the first collections of its type to house in a major museum. In securing its top ranking in USA Today's Reader's Choice competition, the DIA beat out museums in Baltimore, Santa Fe, Pittsburgh, Phoenix, and Los Angeles, to name just a few. Our museum was in good company, but proudly stood out from the pack. It's a tribute to the vision and hard work of DIA Director Salvador Salor Pons, his staff, board of directors, and the museum's many volunteers. A decade ago, the Detroit Institute of Arts played a key role in securing Detroit's financial stability. This latest award is another feather to its cap and reaffirms its reputation as a Detroit leader and national treasure. I'm Mike Murray. We welcome your response to this editorial.